It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Noel, do you know what episode this is? What episode? Not that it matters. Okay, tell me. Episode 200. Oh, of us. Of us, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, episode 200. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, and I'm joined today by Noelle Winters Herzog. She's my co-host. She's a comedian. She's a serpent. I'm a serpent. I'm a comedian. I'm all the things. You are everything to me. Mm -hmm. You're everything to everyone. And we're so happy to have you here today. We are here to talk about um, Happily Ever After season seven, episode 13. This is a long season, huh? 200 episodes, Noelle. That's amazing. Yeah. So I remember when we like were right in the beginning of this. Yeah. And, and like, I was we like, w- hey, you don't have to be my co-host. I was like, I feel bad making you like do another podcast with me. I'm I like, think it so was just- also because I just didn't watch 90 Day. Yeah. I started I like, watching it for this. Yeah. I was like, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Uh, now we're on episode 200. Yeah. I mean, listen, when I ride, you ride, we, we ride together, right? We sure do. Yeah, we do. We sure do. And uh, if you guys want to hear more of us, you know what to do. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you will find all of our bonus episodes, including the single life trash talk. We have so much to say on BS today, too. So we have a lot to say on BS today. We do. Today is going to be a big meaty BS. I love meat. I also love meat. Um, This is just, you know, it's a great day. Noel, I have to say something crazy right now. In the corner of your screen, there is something that is like, it's okay. Did you, it it did that last week too. I'm like, there's an orb in my world. What is this? I don't know because there's nothing here. My phone isn't even like lit up right now. It was like this last week too. And I'm like, is there a monster here? There's no light on in back of me. There's nothing moving. There's a lamp here. Is there something on the, the lens of the camera? Like a piece of dust? On the bottom of it? It's on the bottom of it. Well, but no, I just, I wiped it. Oh, I thought you just wiped the top of it. No, no, I just wiped the lens. Okay, so we have a ghost with us. Yes, I'm telling you, it was the same thing last week, and I couldn't figure out what it was enough that I was like, what's happening here? But I don't want to say anything because I can't stop seeing this, and there's nothing here. See, you see my hands. There's nothing in front of my hands. It's so weird. Great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, but see, I took my hand away and look what happened. I can't figure this out. I know Tracy, it is bedazzled my brain. Okay. Well, good times with that. Um, mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. And let's move on all three of us. Okay. Hey, okay. thanks for joining. Let's jump in the pool with Ed and Liz. Okay. Okay. So uh, Liz and Ed are leaving for Arkansas for their second engagement party. And, uh, she, Ed wants to know if he should bring his, um, his G strings. Why does he have to like shock us? It doesn't shock me. It It just, I don't like it. Grosses me out. Yeah. Gross. Good for you. They're having a do over party. Are they though? She's like, no, we're not because my friends and family won't be there. Right. Who's throwing this party? Exactly. His sister. Okay. Okay. And also she is like, I don't want to be left alone at the party. You have to stand next to me at all times. Yeah. Liz is also a big part of the problem. It's not just Ed. Imagine. Uh Uh-huh. You are going out with your in-laws. Sure. Matt's family, Matt's friends. And you're like, you're not allowed to leave my side. I can't talk to these people by myself. Yeah. That's a problem. I would divorce you. I feel like Jenny's like that too, though. It's the theme of the show. Uh-huh. I would divorce needy, 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 needy. needy. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they took the dogs and they go to Arkansas. Right. Arkansas. For us. He is the middle of six siblings. I never knew that. I don't know why I thought he was an only child. Because he acts like an only child. Yeah. I always thought he was an only child. Well, she's talking about like him when he was a baby. They're talking about like his childhood. Right. Does she want to have a baby? Yeah, of course him? she does. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Perfect. Um, his parents divorced when he was a senior in high school. And then 10 years ago, his dad died. They made it like his dad died when he was a kid. Okay. Right. 
his dad died when he was like 70. I know. When, when Ed was like 70. <laughs> no, I know. And I'm like, oh, he died when I was little. Okay. He You're didn't like, No, though. they got divorced when he yeah. was an adult. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're a, you're 18 years old when you're a senior in high school, or 17, or 16, or 19. However, according old to Noel, you are. Yeah. Go see your dad. Yeah. Go see your dad. No one gets custody at this point. Yeah. It's just it's so weird to me. And he's like, I didn't like my dad very much then. Okay. Then okay. don't like your dad. Whatever. Okay. Um. So he's only he only went on two dates in junior high school and high school, and then he met his ex-wife. Okay. Right. So I'm just giving you a timeline here. Then he mm-hmm. met his ex-wife. Um, and they got married and they had uh, his daughter. Right. And then um, nothing happened the whole time. Right. Zero things happened from the time that he left his or, or whatever. They split up to the time he met Liz. So definitely, he never dated anybody else. He never dated anyone else. He was never on a reality show about um, being engaged to someone else. So that's right. good. He so never he never dated took a shower with someone's dad and a rat. Yeah, never. No, he never did that. He never went to any other country in his whole life. Okay. Um, he never asked gave a anyone girl to, toothpaste. Never asked anyone to brush their teeth, shave mm-hmm. their legs. Nothing. 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 Have you seen what Rose? Have you seen her now? Yeah, she's like she has like a glow up. Hello, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, isn't she, isn't she dating women now? She was, but I think she's dating a man now. Oh well. Yeah, I get it. Uh huh. Of course. So he was the class clown because he was getting bullied all the time. And Liz wasn't bullied, but she didn't have any friends. Right. I, I guess that's a form of bullying, though. Um, of course, she didn't have friends. <laughs> I mean, she still is like, Ed, you can't leave my side. Yeah, she has problems. She's dating Ed. Right. Well, there you go. There's the biggest problem in itself. Now he ran track and he's explaining to her the sport of running track. Right. Uh huh. He's like, okay, so then you stand up. Right. And then like you go to this line and then you run as fast as you can. She's like, no way. Yeah. In Crocs, no less. When you run, right. Uh-huh. Like as a sport. Yeah. Like for racing. Uh huh. So I'm, I didn't know if you knew or not. Uh huh. I just wanted to explain it to you. Um, you go, um, you run fast. Is that what you do when you are running to go yeah. fast? Yeah. For speed. You just do that. You do that. Okay. Just you run, um, fast. You don't run slow. No, it's, it's always as fast as you can. And you, so you just start and then like you stop later, you stop when they say so. Wow. Okay. But hopefully but the whole time you're running fast. As you can, if you, you know, as fast yeah. as you can. Don't. Okay. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. No, thank you for explaining it because um, in high school, we had to run around the cemetery. Yeah. But we had to go as slow as we could. Right. And they were just like, don't get winded. Right. Just go you slow. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay in the down. dirt. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> Lay on this grave. <laughs> Lay there forever. <laughs> Lay in your future. <laughs> Uh, if you guys don't know what she's talking about, her high school was literally in a cemetery. My high school was surrounded by a and cemetery. it literally it sinks like three inches every year because isn't the, that crazy? Because it's in a marsh. Yeah, it's the craziest thing ever. I'm I I'm gonna find a good picture of it online and post it in the secret <laughs> group. Oh, I'll post it in the 90 day group too. Yeah. Um, and then Ed says something that is so disturbing. What does he say? He hugs Liz and then uh-huh. he says, maybe I'll get some stinky pinky. Tracy, I heard it. I didn't write it down because I wanted to pretend it didn't happen. It happens. I'm like, stinky pinky? Shorty, uh, I just, warty? I don't I know just, what to say. I just back. found out why you didn't have many friends in high school. Right. Stinky pinky. Okay. Yucky, yucky. <laughs> she, she needs to prove to his family how much she loves him. She has a very bad complex that. Yeah, of course. Someone's going to say one bad thing to him and, and she's, that's it. Yeah, it's over. Okay. That so does not sound like a great relationship. Not at all. So mm-hmm. they go to Christine's house. This is his sister. Right. And they have the famous fried chicken. With mashed cheese and Brussels sprouts. That's I would terrible. eat that. It sounds great. So his sister starts talking about how his mom's worried and his mom is taking care of his uncle just 40 miles away from his house, but he hasn't seen her in a year. It's like, yeah, you're not talking to your mom. Why does Liz look like shit? Uh, Well, she's crying and she's just scared that he won't marry her. No, I know. But she this is how you go to like his family's house. Like you 
She's probably been out crying all night long. You look long. terrible. All they do is fight. They're but not she nice doesn't even smile ever. Like ever. How could she? They, they can miserable. make a funny joke and she doesn't smile. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Speaking of no smiling, let's talk about Angela and Michael. Even Michael smiles in his dire straits. Well, they're in love again. And mm-hmm. he took his Instagram down and he comforted her when she was upset. So that's how she knows that. Uh, he loves her. I don't want a definition of comforting Angela. I just don't want to know it. It's probably just cigarettes. keep it to yourself. Cigarettes, cigarettes, Coca-Cola. Yeah, it's not that it's not that deep. No, heading. I don't know. I don't think that I think it's more cigarettes and Coca-Cola. Um, So he wants her to pay to fix his car to get yeah, his new as he on it. Right. Uh huh. And they're explaining to the man what happens to the car. And he's like, oh, you got an accident. She goes, I was the accident. You are the accident. Yeah, I'll so take pretty, it. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they're going to go to marriage counseling, but she doesn't want to go. Well, she doesn't think she needs it. She said he needs it. Uh huh. Right. He needs it. You know why he needs it? Because he's in an abusive relationship. Of course. That's why. So he wants her to apologize about Billy, the heartbreaker. I mean, is she going to, though? She said she's <laughs> going to shut her ears. Uh huh. And he said, well, I'm going to open your ears. She says, quote, <laughs> You can open my legs, but you can't open my ears. <laughs> and then she was like, <laughs> all right, well, she he got a new bonnet and <laughs> she she said that now he owes her for the new bonnet and he's going to have to do it more than once. Mm. Yada, yada, yada. Angela dresses like honey boo boo. OK, she does to go to counseling. She has her American she, her flag. Pumps. Her American flag bedazzled pumps. Yeah, they're they're um. I would like to make them, not wear them. I think it would be a fun project to make them and then I don't want to wear the them. Garbage. Yeah, burn okay. them in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she puts on her um Uncle Sam candy cane shirt. What is this? Like, what exactly is this that she's this wearing? American Pride. I don't mind the bouffant of the sleeves. I would like to wear that maybe with some skinny jeans. And some boots, American flag skinny jeans or nah? No, my mom probably has a pair of American flag jeans. Angela can borrow, but I'm sure she does. This shirt could be cute in you a have... non-American flag outfit way. Well, you actually what you're wearing right now in your hair, your ponytail. If we added some curls to it. Yeah. Angela had a little today. Curls. I took I took my brush and mm-hmm. I was brushing my hair back and I made my ponytail and I went like this and I'm like, I'm Angela. You're Angela. I'm Angela. Kiss me. I'm Angela. <laughs> um, so she's talking over him in the session mm-hmm. and they bring up Billy and the way she talks about Billy in the session. He's a crushable man. She calls him a crushable man. And she's like, I have a crush on him. Imagine mm-hmm. if Michael said this about anyone, even a movie star. Also, Instead of saying that he is charismatic, mm-hmm. she calls him chrasmatic, like a chrasmatic adjustable bed. It made me <laughs> like a LOL. Uh-huh. It made me LOL. And I'm like, this woman has a real way with words. You're right. Could you imagine Michael said that? But see, what would Angela is- say? Nothing. She would have beat him up. Yeah. Hit him with the fist. Mm-hmm. She would American flag his face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she I know. Uncle Sam Tim. She would have. Yeah, it's such um like a double edged sword with her. It's ridiculous. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else to say about them? Uh, no, nothing. Just that he has kidney disease and she said she would go see him. Yeah, but he's but- I mean, this would never. Fl- I mean, if if this was Michael, right, she would be like, good. I hope she dies. And the thing is, so she the therapist and her were saying, uh, you know, Michael, did you ever cheat on her or whatever? And she, he's like, no. And she's like, well, like she couldn't accept that. The therapist yeah. was like, you have to accept that. Like mm-hmm. she just can't trust him at all. She has break up him. a truth in her mind and then that's it. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It's annoying. I don't love watching it. No, not at all. This show is sponsored by better help. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. 
I've been in BetterHelp therapy for years now. Noelle uses it too, and it is just the most convenient way to have a therapist because you don't have to travel anywhere. You can match with a therapist so quickly. It's really just amazing. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist, and if things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash fiancé. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiancé. Moving on to Andre and Libby. I do love watching this. Uh, we open up to a quote um, from Andre that he's going to quote, wipe my ass with their sorries. <laughs> I mean, but how could you not like him? He made me I met one of Tracy's much. friends the other day. Yeah. Remember Carmen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carmen. She did not like Andre. A lot of people don't. On Reddit, people don't. I'm looking in comments. People don't. But like the funny thing is she thought Angela was funny and she didn't like Andre. Yeah, it was a very strange take. I will also tell you last night I had dinner with my friend Rafi and his wife Vivi. And uh, I think it was uh, Rafi who was saying that Andre is uh, keeping Libby from her family and how like they don't like him. And I'm like, so crazy to me. No, I'm like, this is a persona. Yeah. For sure. Um, so <laughs> Becky and Jen want to meet up and right. so they so they bring um they bring a guard dog. I don't know what this is about. Is this like, oh, we were just training. I have the arms still we were on. Just, like we what were is just this? doing some bomb sniffing. Um, right. What is this? We were at, I want to pet the dog though. They bring a giant German shepherd. Yeah. And Andre's like, hey, are you guys going to say congratulations? And they're like, oh, is that why you brought us here to force us to congratulate you? So they're arguing. He's mad that they went to uh, her mom's party. Right. I think that's stupid. But they really did say they weren't going to go. Well, th- I think that that's the only thing. It's like, I know that Andre doesn't like them, but I think maybe he expected for once we could band together yes. because Charlie sucks and they couldn't even stick to that. Right. So I do get it. Yeah, so um, yeah. <laughs> Andre thinks that Jen is jealous. But also, they won't even congratulate Libby. That's mean. No. That's so mean. So Becky starts screaming in his face, and he said that her dad pays for her car, so she hits him. Uh-huh. hmm And he I said that like, car, he goes, that car will be mine. <laughs> He's so funny. He said that her $75,000 car will be his. That? Mm-hmm. She was like, listen, you take my sister, you do whatever. (laughs) Do not even look at my car that my daddy bought me. (laughs) That was so funny. I had to rewind it like three times because they were screaming so much. That was a lot. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. what was the breaking point? And it's like, oh, no, the car. (laughs) I love it. So then just the way she flipped out, though, that was a lot like Libby's pregnant. I would have like. I would have like thrown something at her. Like, but stop. That's why, listen, I don't think it's staged because I think that they kind of like hate no, each it other. Seemed pretty w- real. But like, just because it didn't really get that out of control, that's mm-hmm. why it seems staged to me. What like, do you how mean? did it end there? And then you guys calm down and, and talk then you guys life. are fine. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems like they do genuinely not like him. Right. But I don't know. I think yeah. that, that might have been a little bit that I just love that it was about the car. No, I know. But it's just like, I don't know. But then I, I guess you're right. Cause then it's suddenly like, she's like, I'm sorry. And then she's like crying. And then she's crying. And then Andre's tearing up. Yeah. And it's like, wait, I thought you guys didn't like you just hit other. him. Right. What happened? It's, hit it's my weird. husband and see what happens. Launch yourself at my husband. Do the it. Way she launched. Do it. Cause mm-hmm. let me tell you something. Me uh-huh. and my baby would hit you. But that's right. I'd be a human cannonball. <laughs> I would have shot across that table. Mm-hmm. That's too much. You don't put your hands on anybody. No, that was crazy. No. Mm-hmm. All right. Speaking of uh, not putting your hands on anyone, let's talk about Usman and Kim. I really too like ma- watching too many them. hands. Uh, so Kim goes to his house to decorate. OK, so I guess now he lives with his mom. That's his mom's house. Is it? Isn't it? No, I don't think so. Is it? 
I don't know. I thought that they was the okay. Same chairs. I was so confused. Yeah, but maybe that's just like the chairs. Yeah, maybe in the neighborhood. You're right. The neighborhood I thought, chairs. You know what? I thought it was his mom's house, but you're right. I guess it's not his mom's house. It just looked no, wow. like his mom's house. Yeah. She's going there to decorate his to awards. put her to put her own touch on things, mm-hmm. but all she gets to do is tell him where to put his awards. Right. She's gonna put a wifey spin on it. What does that mean? I don't know. Where were the awards? I guess in an awards box. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they were in the, the Federal Reserve. They, You know what? They must have been. My family's in there, too, I heard. <laughs> we'll talk about this on BS, guys. Oh, my God. I can't. Um, <laughs> the picture of him painted. Tracy. White outfit on. As Tracy, a- I can't. Okay. So the thing is, I don't know exactly um, what the outfit was called. Right. Right. But it almost seemed as if he was painted as a god among men. Yes. But he thinks that. he's a god among I men. I want that picture. Yeah. In my house. That was beautiful. Uh, a queen of, among everyone. Really. No, I want I want the picture. You of want him. Usman's picture. Okay. I thought you meant you wanted to be in the likeness of Usman. Oh, I would like that. Too. Yeah. yeah. I would I like, would like that, that. Too. How about both of that? How about paint us as a couple? Next to each other. Yeah. In our new paint studio. <laughs> That could be our background. Guys, get on top of it. <laughs> so um, his mother giving them the blessing was right. more exhilarating for Kim than jumping out of a plane 72 times. Okay, that's a little much because I've gone cliff diving once. I don't think um, yeah, but- getting Matt's mother's approval to get married compared to that. Yeah, but you've never had a conversation with your mother-in-law that felt like cliff diving? No, well... I mean, I guess maybe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I haven't. <laughs> so um, she said, quote, he calls it our house now. Okay. But is it? Well, he has a big secret okay. and she just, she just loves his bedroom. I got to tell you something. This was mm-hmm. very triggering for me. Why? Why? Um, okay. I want, I want to tell you a story. Tell me. It's a personal story. Uh, I dated a man once upon a time. Mm-hmm. who had basically the same bedroom okay literally like there was satin there was I mean it was so bad it was there was a bed in a bag from like JC Penny uh-huh oh Noel it was so bad was it, it the was... guy that had all the lacquer furniture no oh, no this guy. was a man okay. I dated for a very long time okay that's who I thought that's what I thought we were talking about when first. I when I found him uh-huh. uh his bedroom was there was a sword set it was the color the walls were the color of uh of uh, the clay in texas like terracotta like a red yes okay, okay. just now when you were talking about it i pictured something like okay. that so then he had um a satin red and gold <laughs> embroidered cover Tracy the, I've been here in my head well I'm sure I've showed you pictures it was you it was must have. it was a terrible it. time in my yeah. life yeah just from the bedroom <laughs> yeah and then I convinced him I convinced him after years I'm like I can't do this anymore I'm yeah like, I can't be here anymore and he was like okay we could change it so I got like light curtains mm-hmm. and you know I just had a I don't we didn't paint so I think it was like, just like working with the color yeah the vibes he picked out just a lighter of the same comforter set Mm -hmm. there were tassels involved i knew it does he have a balance on the on his noel it was so bad yeah and i'm like i can't believe this is happening just in a in a lower frequency yeah (laughs) and when i saw usman's bedroom i'm like oh god i've been here i lived here yeah I lived this life and it's awful. It's so funny because like as soon as you like semi explained it, I saw all the colors. I saw everything I have pictures. in my head. Guys, I have pictures of this. I'm going to post them in the secret group. OK, I have to dig them up. But I have pictures of this because this was traumatizing to me. Post the decor the group, the decor was traumatizing. And I remember I asked him who guided him towards this bedroom. And he the said bedroom himself, I found him. probably. No, it was one of his friend's wives. And I had words with her. You had, I mean, having words with someone about that, it's a lot. She claims that she's like, well, what do you want me to do? He was like set in his ways about this. And I'm like, you could have, you 
could have done everyone a service, but here we are. Yeah. Well, here we are. But I understood because then I tried to guide him and that. I have really met in my either. life like this. It was mm-hmm. very, very, very triggering um, to see this. So he has a big secret. Mm-hmm. He's going to double propose. Right. With a quote, mm-hmm. real diamond ring. When she came out of the bedroom, I will say I did not expect that. Well, now he knows he's got to do this. Right. So, he, I mean, go big or go home. Right. That's true. Uh, I need more information on this ring. Like what? The cut? The I mean, the cut. I can only see it from far away. I want right. to know, is it is it chips? Yeah, of course it is. I want to see it. You think it's a solitaire? No, I mean, clearly not. I saw that there was definitely a halo involved. Yeah. Um, she said that this is proof that their love is equal. The way that he kisses her, it's like uh, when someone kisses that loud with a lot of noise, they don't want to kiss you. He goes like, mwah, mwah, mm-hmm. mwah. Yeah. That's how you mm-hmm. kiss a baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's how I kiss Peggy Sue. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> uh, she's really excited to kiss him at the airport. Uh, so she's like, um, we can kiss at the airport now. And he goes, uh, no, not really. Her outfit was so cute when they were going to the air, when they were talking. I don't remember if she wore this in, it was not what she wore in the airport okay, when they were, when they were walking and she's uh-huh. like, Oh, can you kiss me here? She had on like a black t-shirt with like some, you know, strings out. here Great. kind of, but I don't know. It was cute. But then she had on black ripped jeans. It was very cute. Yeah. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Well, he wants to live in both countries and she just wants to wait on him at her job. Okay, she, does, she just quit that place, too. She was there for 12 years. She okay. quit that place. What she kind got of a place different was it? job. It was like a cafe. Okay. Um, and she got a different job now. Okay, well, I hope she could still wait on him. Um, so, uh, Kim, why did, she, why did they both have so much luggage? They just, they like to okay. dress fancy. No, no, no. But here's the thing. They're in yeah. Sokoto, Right. Right. And they're going back to the other area where they vacationed together. Yes. Because she's going to be flying out of there. Right. But he goes with her. Right. With all of his luggage. Yeah. Why? Maybe he's going on tour. Noel. Tracy. He is an international superstar. I'm confused. She wears his website on her shirt. Oh, God. I loved it. Oh, God. I loved it. I wrote down something that I don't understand. Tell me. Um, team US, Kim? Uh, I don't know what that's about because they're okay, going to well. Zoom the lawyer. No. Oh, wait. Is- I wrote that too. I wrote, he doesn't want to live in the United States. Team US, Kim. I swear to God, I wrote that too. And then it's going to Zoom the lawyer. There's no I way to know. Team U.S. Kim. And I thought it was something. I thought I like misspelled something. Yeah. I'm like looking at it like, I don't know what this means. You know, because I have U.S. K.I.M. It's one word. So I thought I was trying to write Usman and I just oh, misspelled it. I know what it is. Tell me. Us Kim. That's their Benefer name. You're right. Team Us Kim. Right. OK. OK. Very good, Tracy. OK. I thought Kim was on the oh Olympics my God, for I a thought second. My brain was going to break. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Right now they're going to do the lawyer. So now, but they're in Abuja. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. Like, I know. I don't know. Does he live in Sokota? I don't know, but I guess maybe he has two places. No, I don't know. You never know. Guys, I need this cleared up. Please go into the group. 90 day fiance trash talk on Facebook. Answer the questions. Get in. Tell me what's going on here. Yeah, I don't get it. So they call the immigration lawyer. Mm hmm. So it's going to take like six to eight months for the K-1 visa to maybe even just apply right. like, to get the application started. And then after 90 days, they have to get married. Right. Then he can't travel until he gets his green card. Right. Um, but mm-hmm. there are laws against polygamy and he can't get married in Nigeria. Right. Because he will be flagged. See, I didn't realize that, like, I guess American law 
traveled to Nigeria. Well, this were, is the other thing. I yeah. thought exactly what Kim thought. I thought it just wouldn't be valid in the U.S. Yeah, me too. I was talking about this last night. How like um, Mormons, right? Like the not all Mormons, but I think it's the Church of Latter-day Saints that believes in plural marriage. Yes, it is. OK. It's not legal in the U.S. Right. So therefore, when you have more than one wife in the Mormon religion, mm-hmm. it's just we don't recognize it. But right. They are, still have but their aren't own you just se- married to one? You're married. You're always married to the one that you legally married. Right. That's what I thought. Like in big, uh, not big love. Big love was a great show in sister wives in, in sister. Wife, not yeah. Cody was married to uh, Mary. That was his number one. And mm-hmm. then he divorced her to marry Robin because Robin needed to be the first wife. I forgot why. I think it was to adopt the kids because okay. she had kids from another marriage. You only have one wife. That's what I thought. But then you have like ceremonies to marry the other ones, like almost like a commitment ceremony. Right. So then why can't you just like like you? What if your husband cheated on you and had a baby with someone? Because the assumption I made was that's just how it was. I didn't think you legally. Now, all of a sudden, we have to be married to have a baby. Yeah. Just saying, just throwing it out there. So he could lose his green card if he does that. Um, He needs just one woman, but he's very upset. Okay. Uh, I think you guys could figure it out. I think that's what's going to happen. Also, you can't travel every two to three months until you get your green card. Right. Well, that that's what they were talking about, even with Yara and Yogi. Right, but that's just uh-huh. that's just how it goes. Yeah, I know. You can't always just start off. Well, I think that just that has to be explained to people. That's all. Right. But he's like, oh, this isn't going to work. Out. Right. I know. It's, it's like, not well, going to work out. Come on. I hope not. Um, he's wearing a shirt with their picture on it with yes, a satin blazer over it. I like his blazer. I just do like it. Uh, and her favorite part was uh, the yammy. That was oh, my favorite part. She said the yammy was my favorite part, too. Like it was his favorite part. Right. Like as much as hers. Mm-hmm. OK, he you know what I wrote the last thing? He repulse kisses her. <laughs> He just does. He repulse kisses yeah, her. It's not great. Uh-uh. All right. So let's move on to Jovi yeah. and Yara. Jovi and Yara. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to Germany with his mom and his friend uh Talmaj. Yeah, I just call him T. Okay. He is Ricky Bobby. Who's Ricky Bobby? From Talladega Nights. Uh I've never Will seen Will Ferrell's Talladega character. Nights? He is Kenny Powers. Okay. I've heard everyone in the world refer to Kenny Powers, it's but like I don't a- know who it is. Think of like just like Southern, but like let me see if I could pull up some Kenny. Yeah, I would love to know. Oh, I just got a I just got a text on Cameo. You ready? It's yeah. from Joey Fatone. It says I'm back on Cameo. Can't wait to connect. A text that it, was exclusively for you. Do you think it was? That's yeah. what I was just trying to wonder. No, I do. You were trying to wonder it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ricky Bobby. Yeah. Um this is just like, I don't know. I guess it's like a stereotype. Uh huh. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, this is like the whole, uh, so this is them praying. This is a famous scene. This is a trailer, I guess. Jesus. I want to thank you for my family. My two beautiful sons, Walker and Texas Ranger. And of course, my red hot smoking wife, Carly. Woo! Mm. I mean, isn't this what he's like behaving like? Yes. Oh, no. Th- I mean, it is what he's behaving like. It's like this over the top. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's it's going on It's almost like he's like playing a part, I guess. Yeah, he's playing yeah. a character, right? Yeah. So it's a five and a half hour drive to Germany and they the want to party. The whole thing is just them in the car. That's it's- it. I mean, it's so long. Yeah, but I'm saying like they don't even show us like when they get there. They're a whole they thing that we see of them. But I'm saying like the whole main, mainly yeah. the whole scene we see of yeah. them is just them in the car. Yeah, well, they're in the car forever. Um, right. And Jovi and T want a party as they go <laughs> to help her friend. That's a refugee. I know, but do they or is that just what I we don't need? know? We need to think Jovi's uh, a party boy all the time. Okay, so they're getting Karina some clothes, which is and so nice. Now I will tell you this: yeah, under these fluorescent lights at the store, yeah, 
Yara's fellers are prominent. Her, I mean, her fellers are almost always prominent. And, you know, she said that a lot of people are going without and she mm-hmm. is also going without eyebrows. She feels a lot of like guilt. Yes. Well, her yeah. mom wants her to stay longer and right. she's very upset that these people are in need. Right. But she is also in need of eyebrows. She is in need of eyebrows. She's in need of less fillers. Yeah. She's no extensions. Need, it migrated. It migrated into her top lip. This is this is a thing. That it we always see. turns into that. That's the thing. She doesn't have shape anymore. No, it's mm-hmm. it migrates. It's a Simpsons yeah. like quality. Uh, it, OK, yes, that's exactly what it's it a is. very yes. Futurama. Yes. All right. So Jovi thinks it's crazy that she would want to stay. And uh, T agrees. He's like, go home, Yara. But also shut up, T. Uh, and then he says, Jovi says, I'm not going to let her disrespect me. Yara. Mm-hmm. Just say you want to stay with your mom while Jovi's goes to work. I think the problem is stop I, making uh, it like you're going to be a soldier on the front line. Well, that's the problem. I almost think Jovi is kind of like my girl's losing her mind a little bit. Yeah, like so I'm worried about yeah, her. Just that's say you want to stay with your mom, mom at work I, and then come home. I think her approach is wrong. I think that yes. she could, if she just approaches differently, he would be like, "Yeah, cool, stay with your mom." Correct. Yes. All right. Yeah. Also, did you notice that like this child, Milo, the bed was like inverted, like her, her. So she's sitting in between the grandparents. Yeah. um, Yes. uh, Yara Yara and and her mother. These kids feet were straight up like in the air. And I'm like, remember when we were at Roy's house and he was, oh my God, he had one of those things on the balcony. That's what I feel like the kid was on. The kid was on an inversion table. (laughs) Oh God, that was car. I got an instant migraine when he turned me upside down. No, I know. But this is this poor Myla. Her her feet she were straight has a migraine. Air. Yeah, I think that she was on an inversion crib, <laughs> not crib. Car seat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of being out of your mind, let's talk about Bilal and Shida. This isn't real, right? I hope not. OK, me too. All right. So she was so happy that it, uh, Etrice was standing up for her. Is that her name? Utrice. 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 Yeah. Utrecht was standing up for her, um, but she's like, but I just realized that this isn't the way that I'm going to get what I want. You think so? They're looking at wedding dresses. But this is what I don't understand. Did they just pick the first store they saw? Uh huh. OK, they were like, let's film in here. They said, OK, yeah, like, okay. OK, just look at wedding dresses and bags. Perfect. OK, right. Um, Shida was like, you are kind of feisty and he felt threatened. And she said that he uh, swung it to make her look wrong she's like does he do that to you uterus is a problem uterus is a problem of course she is so Mm -hmm. uh shida tells her about like the prenup and the kids and how if she gets pregnant at 40 she has a five percent chance and he said that um you know he can't do the studio now because she doesn't have any credit right and uh uterus's uh advice is quote make him not be so comfortable Right. So basically, like, he's not going to change because he's not scared play hard you know, to change. Yes. But it's like she doesn't see. And I see this a lot with some women is that, like, by doing this, you're pushing him away. Yeah. This is she, not how you get what you want. She tells Bilal that uh, Utrecht was uh, offended. What the hell was this hotel room? Their bed, the bed took over that whole room. I don't it was like I a remember. it's almost like a boutique room. Well, it definitely was something because the um the outdoor space was kind of weird, like the lobby yeah, area. Where they yeah, met. it was a strange place. Well, he wants an apology. And she he also said that she doesn't smile. He's right. She does There's something smile. going on with her. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, so he apologizes and mm-hmm. Utris said that she can't go home back to London because Shida isn't in a happy marriage. She's like, I can't in good conscience go home. Then you live here now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. Well, I hope you have a lot of money for this hotel. Yep. It's mm-hmm. boutique because I'm here forever. My house forever. <laughs> boutique so forever. She, she asked him about the prenup. Mm-hmm. How dare you? Noel. Yeah. I would choke you. But that's what I mean. There's a line 
that you just don't cross. So she asked about the yoga studio and he's like, that's not what I said. I didn't say I was going to buy her a yoga studio. Yeah. I said I was going to help her with her yoga business, which involves a website, which involves marketing, marketing. which involves yeah. like, and then she could see where she wants to go with her yes. yoga business. Yes. And she's like, that's not what you told but her. She's also not trying anything at all. Why don't you start with social media? Why don't you start with something? Well, uh, then she talks to Bilal about them having a baby. My head would explode. Uh, and then she thinks that she should just tell Shida to stop taking her birth control pills because Bilal basically wouldn't make her get an abortion if she got pregnant. So that's the thing. She's like, Bilal's like, listen, I didn't say that we had to wait three years. I'm saying we have three years. Uh, but we're absolutely right now. There is no I am not blowing loads inside of Shida right mm -hmm. now, if you must know. Yes. And she's like, but if Shida were to get pregnant. Right. How would, would you, you send feel? her back to right. Trinidad? Right. And he's like, no. He's like, she's no. like, so you want a baby right, right now? That is the most twisted backwards way to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Very bad. So now Shida is going to have a trap baby, basically. I like that. Okay. Good for her. It's great. It's great for yeah, the show. It's good. Uh -huh. um, it's good for us. Yeah, I guess it is good for us. Yeah. Noel. Tracy. Do you have anything else to say about this episode? Uh, not really. I miss Jenny and Sini. Oh, yeah, that's right. My friends. Um, I really like watching them. I'm excited to see them back next week. There's really okay. nothing else. Well, from hopefully the show. they're back. Uh, you they are follow back. Good. You could follow the show at 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. We have a brand new TikTok for our podcast, Trash Talk Podcasts right there on TikTok. It's going to be mm -hmm. right down there in the show notes too. So you could follow it. I'm at Trixie2ZD on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand-up comedy tour dates uh, and everything podcast related. We have merch for sale and, you know, all the good stuff for Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and anything that you celebrate. Yeah. Or don't celebrate, but just want something. Yeah. You just want a thing. Yeah. Yeah, you want a thing. TracyCarnazzo.com. That's where you go. Give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. Tell and, a friend. Uh, tell one friend. Just tell one friend. We don't need we don't need to be this is flooded. an exclusive place to be, you know? It really is. If you're listening to us on audio, thank you so much. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're listening to us on YouTube and you hate what you see, I understand. Go over <laughs> to audio and just subscribe to us over there. And uh we've been posting a ton of clips. Nikki Clips has been mm -hmm. doing our clips. <laughs> You could follow him. His uh, handles right down there as well. And, you know, just like, share, comment, do all the stuff. Tell do a friend stuff. You love us. We love you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I got to go. Bye forever. Goodbye forever.